Hey, it's me, Hannah Baker. Just kidding. So, hey guys, um, welcome to another video. And this is much different because I'm doing a voiceover. That's right, this is a timeless of me trying to do watercolor. And don't forget to like, guys. <laughs> so, I've never done one of these videos before, but I just felt in the artsy mood. I've been feeling that all week, and I thought, you know, it'd be nice to show you guys how I paint and yes you read the title right there are there's a fail um, it's, <laughs> let's just talk about that later so I don't even know how do people do these things like I guess I can just say something about watercolor um it's paint with a bunch of water in it and it spreads around and it makes pretty colors like as you can see right there me just mixing uh, don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just basing this off of a picture I saw on Instagram and I thought it was really cute and I thought it, re it resembled like how I was feeling this whole week, which is you'll see soon. And so basically right now I'm just adding a bunch of water to it trying to blend the colors in and I don't want to blend it like too much because I you kind of put too much water and I had to dab that away. Um, and then here I'm just trying to make the colors more vibrant and Right now, it just looks like a big pink blob in the middle of another blue and black blob, but trust me, it gets a little bit better. Also, turn my notifications on. It's that little bell button you see next to my name. Oh, right here. Um, I'm trying to make it look like a cloud that's like dripping a little bit, and basically, you have to put a bunch of water on the bottom and just shake it until it falls. And it was working quite a little while until eventually, uh, you're, you'll see soon. This is, here comes a fail. Um, you can if you can look right at the the very right raindrop thing, it's kind of like not a raindrop. There's a little bit of specks after that. Um, that speck kind of spreads out right there, and I mess it up, and then I mess it up even more. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna mess this whole thing up, do some abstract stuff, and then I kept on messing up because that was just a bit too much water. Also, that was a cutscene because my camera can only hold up to 10 minutes per video, which kind of sucks, so bear with me here. And I don't even know if this audio is good because I'm just recording off my camera, I don't even have a mic, but whatever. So right now I'm just trying to mix it up, going back and forth, trying to make it look a little bit more like muddy and cloudy, like a cloud. <laughs> God, I hate myself. And go follow me on Twitter. God, I don't know why I put these little like cliffhanger things at the bottom. They come at the worst times. Right now I'm just sketching out what is going to be a little girl um, whose head is in this thought, like this thought bubble. And that's what the name of this piece is. And that's just how I've been feeling lately. You know, I feel like I have a bunch of thoughts in my head that I can't get out and they're just accumulating like this big ass little cloud filled with colors, I guess. So, I'm sketching it out, and later I am gonna start painting over it to try to get some like colors and some gradients, as you can see here. Not really working out, but just bear with me, it will get better. Um, it's a girl because, you know, it's honestly, like, it's easier to draw a girl because it's just a dress. For a guy, I would have to draw like a hoodie that resembles me because that's what I always wear. Hoodies and then like a sweatshirt and then the t-shirt and then jeans and I'd rather not draw all of that stuff because a dress is like a one color thing. No offense to girls who wear dresses, I mean they're beautiful. Another cutscene, <laughs> sorry. So here I am outlining out my, outlining out, good job Frederick. Um, I'm outlining out the, Jesus I did it again, you know what, we're gonna keep on going. I'm outlining the girl with an ink pen and uh, I don't want to talk about what happens later on because it right, right there. Yeah, right there. Um, I pressed down on an ink pen and number one thing you don't do with an ink pen is press down. And I didn't listen. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna keep on outlining, pretend that's not there. Um, maybe, you know, she's got a black period. And, and at this point I was like, how can I make this even weirder? I'm gonna put three dots on her legs and... God, I don't know what I was doing. I'm, I probably could have fixed it. Oh, by the way, that was a picture of how my hand was so fucked after it. It's still black right now and I took a shower. I can't get it off. Right here, I forgot that I put it. Uh, she needed a shadow because, you know, why not? It's cute. And here, I'm just fucking around even more with the pen, ink pen that I should probably put down and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, God. 
it's cringy to look at this because I actually like this piece. That cloud looked amazing. It was like galaxy. So here I am trying to ignore the utter like shit that I just created and just going off of my work, trying to forget, making the her shadow a bit darker. And then I ruin it even more. Like, you wonder, how can this get worse? Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that there was another cutscene. <laughs> so this is how I make it worse, okay? I start putting, like, this black shadow all over those ink dots. And I don't know what I was doing. I thought I could somehow, like, get it off. Here I'm just putting some white stars to try to make it look cuter. And by the way, you make a white star, but... Hold on. Actually. It ended. Alright, so bye.